Hey guys, what's up? Rocky D is over here, and we'll be talking about two more filters today. So, starting off with the noise filter. <clears throat> so, if you have been following my previous tutorials, you know that uh, adding a filter is pretty easy. So, what you do is you invoke the cache uh, method first, and after that, in, you bring in the filter uh, function and then you pass the argument whichever you would like to pass and that would be filters.noise over here followed by another statement which will tweak our noise levels so as of now I'll leave the noise as 0 and let's see what happens so we have loaded the circle and nothing is happening because 0 is the noise anyways when, when I once increase to 0.4 you can see that noise is starting to form over here on the circle and that is how you can tweak around with various noise levels and add noise if at all you would like to add to your project. Anyways, uh, if you give a 0.9, you can see that the noise is drastically increased. Similarly, if you give a value of 10, the noise is horrendous and it keeps increasing. Anyways, uh, this was a quick one on noise. Similarly, you have something called Alright, so similarly you have something called posterize and what posterize does is that it is Alright, so you have to give it as levels so if at all you are uh, if at all you are well versed with uh, photoshop you will understand that posterize comes with levels so levels are to be uh, given a value so if I give 0.4 so nothing happens, nothing uh, interesting so we can change our values and see what all happens with what values and this is how our posterize works so if I give 0.1 alright so as you can see if I give 0 .0, 0 0.01 you can see that the color is being spread out into a few number of colors only so this is how you can, uh, you can follow along with various values if I give 0.04 you can still see that there are certain different layers and this is how posterize works so it's pretty uh, uh, it's pretty bad that we have to give values in point zero uh, scale but that is what I think uh, works over here so anyways you can go ahead and uh, work with several other values so we can see there is uh, black over here so as soon as it reaches about point zero so point one you can see it is back to normal but if you increase the size of it you will be able to understand that things have actually uh, gotten shorter the number of levels over there so if you if you look a bit closer the uh, things will be much clearer anyway so you can work around with different values give it what 0.05 and you can see that there are certain levels coming out anyways this was a quick demonstration how you can work with filters and Two filters being noise and posterized so go ahead and start working with your uh, JS fiddles and uh, show me what you've done and I'll see and I'll comment on it so go ahead and provide the links out in the comments below alright guys thanks a lot for watching I'll see you guys in the next few videos until then stay tuned and share my videos subscribe to them and tell your friends as well thanks a lot for watching bye bye